Hi, I'm Bob Voss, also known as New Business Bob. Welcome to the New Business Bob Show. With me today is Larry, the accounting guy, and we're gonna be talking about some tax stuff. So Larry, every year or every quarter, we file stuff for New Business Bob and Bob Voss, right? How do I know what form I'm supposed to use to file my taxes properly? Well, depending upon the type of business entity you are, determines which form you file. Okay, I'm an LL. We, you set me up, you helped me set up as a limited liability company, right? And you're a single member. And I'm a single member. Okay, so what form do I use? You will use a Schedule C. Okay, what's a Schedule C? A Schedule C is an attachment to your individual income tax return. Many people are familiar with a Schedule A where you deduct your medical expenses, taxes, insurance, that Itemized kind of deduction. Itemized I, okay, deductions, got right? It. Schedule C is business, profit, and loss. Okay, so for, and that's how the IRS and the state know about the work that I do at New Business Bob and my company, Biz Owner Training, right? It's all on one thing. But you're, I'm not filing a separate return with the IRS. I'm filing this on my, on my, my, my wife's personal income taxes, right? That's correct. For this type of business, that's the form to use. Okay, and it's a really simple form, right? It's just eight and a half by 11, two pay, or front and back, right? Front and back, yep. And it covers every aspect of the business. And more okay. or less. All right. Right? There are some things that need to go on separate schedules, like assets. We've talked about that in another okay. show. But the the income and the expenses are on the Schedule C. They're the they're the front page of the Schedule C. You also have calculation of your cost of goods sold, which is the change in your inventory. Okay. You have your business miles and you have other expenses. That's the backside of the Schedule okay. C. So if you're filing, if you're a limited liability company, you're a single member LLC, single you would member. always file a Schedule C. Schedule C. What if you're a multiple member LLC? So multiple member LLCs are going to file a different form. They're going to file a partnership form. Okay. And that partnership form is going to give them something called a Schedule K-1. Okay. Which brings the same type of information from the partnership return over to the individual return. So they're still filing on their personal still income tax. Still ends up okay. on their individual income tax return. It just depends upon how it gets there. Okay, so if somebody is a um, sole proprietorship where they, they've gone to their state and they file a sole proprietorship, or in fact, they're, they're called a 1099 independent contractor. Right. Are they filing a Schedule C? They should also be filing a Schedule C. Okay, does anybody else file a Schedule C? Um, the, the single member LLC that we've already talked about, okay. but pretty much that's it. It's a single, if you are a single owner, there's a possibility, if you've set things up correctly, that a qualified joint venture can file a Schedule C. Okay. That is a husband and wife, separate owners, one business. Okay, got a curveball for you. Go ahead. If I've got an LLC and I've got this umbrella LLC mm -hmm. and I'm running three businesses underneath that LLC. Okay. Okay. Do each of the businesses then file a Schedule C and you add them all together on the personal income taxes? Are each of the three businesses independent LLCs that are registered? No, they're independent sole proprietorships. They're under, assumed, na they're they're assumed, assumed names, names or yeah. fictitious yeah, names, yeah, yeah, depending yeah, exactly. upon your state. Yeah. Then that's still one legal entity, the single member LLC. Okay, so but then you have, are, if they're separate financially, are you filing a set, three schedules? One return. One return for all one three return. businesses. Yep. Okay, yep. great. That's if great. you had separate LLCs, then you'd file three separate returns. Okay, so there's, I get it. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching this video. And I hope you've learned a lot about Schedule C's and what the best tax form is to file for you. And again, if you've got any questions for me or Larry, the accounting guy, don't be afraid to ask. That's how you learn. Thanks for watching the New Business Bob Show. Take care.